I'm Alberto, and these are uh, Shan and Godly. Hi, my name is Godly. I'm Shan. And uh, we created a system uh, capable of uh, detecting uh, skin color. And based on that, uh, we uh, created a game which we titled uh, Catch Bruises If You Can. Uh, and basically, the idea is to use your hand uh, as a uh, so, so system detects the, the, the color of your uh, skin color. And you use your hand to move the cursor, and uh, you basically have to like cut the face of Bruce's face to. Uh, uh, there was an example point. right there, right? Yeah. It just happened to... So by cutting his face, increase one point. If you cut uh, our the face, then, then the points increase. I mean, the scores increase down to zero. Okay, show me a track. Sure. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now I'm playing at a normal speed. And this is basically tracking my hand. Uh, what it does basically is detect the biggest skin color region it can find on screen and uh, find the centroid and that, that's where the cursor moves. The centroid is basically calculated over a uh, running average uh, module which, uh, yeah, ones, which, uh, which, which continuously updates every frame and which is why we're getting the uh, more or less accurate position of uh, cent the center. Uh, from the background, and it's got pretty all right noise reduction, noise <laughs> cancellation. So, so we have uh, along with this game, we have like different kind of modes. So this is like the easiest mode which you can play, and we have some something which is uh, which we named as God mode. And in this, the speed, the random speed which we are generating from the module is pretty pretty fast so no one has scored five till now <laughs> and yeah so if you hit the picture of me you get plus one and if you hit a picture of your of yourselves it gets zero is yes. that right exactly okay. so right now the score is two and then I, 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 I hit and got a wise. one of the funny features is like if you cut anyone's face uh, the face will change and you will see <laughs> What's the response given by us? <laughs> so, in our design, we didn't use everything was uh, done in hardware, complete yeah. hardware. Um, so there's no HPS programming. There's no HPS. Okay. Completely on the hardware side of the DA1 SOC. We also didn't use QSIS because uh, it took a little too much time to compile. So uh, I mean, we just it's all pure Verilog and modules and all that. You know, uh, we haven't used any sort of abstraction. No QSIS, no QSIS yeah. abstraction. So uh, that reduce, reduces yeah, the compilation yeah. time a lot and it helped in a uh, lot of debugging actually. Yeah. I believe that. <laughs> and yeah, so uh, the images are generated, I mean, from the bottom of the screen using a random number generator and a random speed generator. Uh, so these things are basically modules which take in a random seed input and uh, shift it left and right. It's pseudo random, not perfectly random, but shift it left and right and whatever position we get on the x-axis, that's where the next image would crop out from. Okay. And, uh, Basically, we are using on-chip memory mostly, mostly yeah, M10K so blocks for storing the memory and SDRAM for the video stream. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.